The Ehane personal aircraft is one of the pioneers to the first generation of electric VTOLs. With an array of accelerometers, gyroscopes, and even radar, it was considered to be a cutting edge 80 mile per hour machine. But with only a 20 minute flight time, it became quite apparent that electric VTOLs had severe energy limitations. Lithium ion batteries can only produce around 300 watt hours per kilogram. And at that time, it really seemed that these aircraft were just novelty items without any real world application. There was always the promise of a next generation battery, which can make up for some of these shortfalls. But the Comet Electric VTOL still falls short of the 300 mile range helicopter. The counter argument is that electric VTOLs are considerably cheaper to produce. They are quieter and have high levels of autonomy. So in theory, there is a bigger market for this type of aircraft. Fast forward to today, and there are many new incredible innovations which are coming out for electric VTOLs. Hybrid turbo generators, morphable wings, and even pusher props can increase flight times. And in turn, we're seeing very incredible electric VTOLs which are coming out. But one of the strangest methods out there is actually utilizing the ground effect. This effect creates less downwash and less drag. So in theory, you could have a very large aircraft which can fly several feet above the water. This led to some very crazy ideas, including the Russian Ukranoplan and even the Aerocon wingship concept. The 400 time machine could theoretically fly 12,000 miles at 400 miles per hour, but the startup cost alone was over $600 million. So the project never made it to fruition. However, this was not limited to very large aircraft. And fast forwarding to today, we have the Regen Sea Glider. Featuring an all-electric drive, it can actually go 180 miles at 180 miles per hour. It's actually a pretty versatile unit because it can travel like a boat, zip a little faster in hydrofoil mode, or utilize ground effect and completely leave the water. The prototype will eventually lead to a 12-passenger vehicle by 2025. Another way to overcome an electric veto limitation is actually to make it into a hybrid. And the Airspeeder Mark IV is a very interesting aircraft because it's being built into a racing vehicle. The craft will have a top speed of around 225 miles per hour and it will be powered by a 1300 horsepower Thunderstrike hydrogen turbo generator. It apparently uses a 3D printed combustor that was developed for rocket engines. The craft will also use a unique gimbal thrust system and be operated by an artificial intelligence flight controller which individually adjusts the four separate rotor pairs at each corner. The company has progressed considerably with their previous prototypes, so it's going to be a very interesting build to follow. Anticipated completion date is around 2024. Another way to bypass the limited flight times of electric VTOLs is to actually tilt the rotors. The Archer Midnight is probably one of the most anticipated projects, and it should be able to carry four passengers or 1,000 pounds of payload. It utilizes a flying wing concept with the ability to tilt its rotors for this higher payload capacity. It's still a work in progress and has a limited flight time of around 20 minutes. Having said that, this is a really good idea to extend the flight time of an electric VTOL. And Joby Aviation has already worked on this idea for over 10 years. Their five-seater provides a range up to 150 miles with a speed up to 200 miles per hour. It has a distributed electric propulsion system leveraged by NASA's lead tech demonstrator. And this allows the aircraft to break electric VTOL records. It also has a very redundant system. So if one or two motors fail, the other working propellers can safely land the aircraft. It's considerably quieter than a normal helicopter. So it's going to come down to the cost of the vehicle and whether or not that is viable to the consumer. But as far as security goes, the company is pretty comfortable with over $900 million in cash. So they're probably here to stay for quite some time. Another way to extend the range is to incorporate the motors into the wings and add a pressure prop to the back. The X5 Cabaret is a really interesting aircraft. It's able to transform its wings to conceal its motors during horizontal flight. The craft will also utilize a hybrid electric turbo generator. And in turn, this will allow a craft which can carry 5 passengers at over 300 miles. In the future, the pusher prop might even be replaced by something like a jet engine. And these numbers could even be improved even more. 
The company has built a 50% prototype and it shows quite a bit of promise. Ultimately, the X5 can set the bar on how electric vehicles are even designed. So it's definitely a project worth following in the coming years. Another strange aircraft being designed is the Strix. This one is a fully autonomous vehicle which can take off vertically and fly horizontally for long durations, up to 500 miles. The vehicle would be able to carry a couple hundred pounds of payload and fold up when stored away, making it to be an ideal candidate for military applications. This concept seems to be a resurrected idea from aircraft such as the Pogo, which were designed to take off vertically without a runway. However, these previous aircraft were very difficult to land. With modern autonomy, aircraft like the Strix could overcome these deficiencies, and this technology could even be transferred over to manned electric vehicles. So evidently, there have been quite a few ways to overcome the limited flight times of electric VTOLs. And I think we will see some very impressive aircraft being developed in the next few years. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.